Welcome to Counselor's Corner. I'm Lori Hallberg, counselor at Dow High School, and this is Craig Hawkins, counselor at Midland High. We have a few updates of important information for the month of May. The first thing is for seniors. They get very excited because May is the end of the school year for them, which means the end of their high school career. Near the end, middle of May to the end of the May, we will meet with seniors to, to do a senior exit. That includes um, finding out where, what their plans are for the next year and helping them with what the next step is. Do they need to send their final transcript? Most colleges do want a final transcript sent to them so they know that yes, their student really did graduate. We use parchment as our way to send those transcripts, which is an electronic um, website, and all the students have, a, have an account to send their transcript electronically. We also, a very fun part, is giving students back their files that have information from kindergarten on. We like to gather information on scholarships. We also gather information for ourselves. Students will write down a list of scholarships that they were offered, and we tally up that amount, and it's announced at graduation, which is always a, a nice large number. It's nice to see our students being rewarded with scholarships. So leading to graduation, um, a couple dates that may be important. The last day for seniors is Friday, May 31st. And that day consists of a senior breakfast and a nice send-off from their ending of high school years. Graduation is June 7th, which is a Friday. And students will receive five to six tickets, depending on each school, how many, how many tickets are available. If your student needs more tickets, then they need to sign up in the office for more tickets when they become available. Another important part that happens in May, we do a lot of international baccalaureate testing and advanced placement testing. Now these are tests that students choose to take. Um, they pay for them and again, they potentially, depending upon what their scores are on these, they could earn um, college credit depending upon the colleges that they're going to. And we always recommend that students call the colleges and ask if they take advanced placement credits or international baccalaureate credits. Most colleges will do that, but it's good to kind of do a check to make sure you can see how much credit you're going to get at those particular schools. Um, the testing is done during the day. Uh, we have various sites throughout the district. We do some at our administration building. We just do some at Dow High, Midland High. So students are asked to, if it's downtown at uh, the administration building, they're asked to provide their transportation. If it's in the schools, we may have some testing at Midland High that Dow High students will have to come over and vice versa. So we ask students to get their transportation to the testing. We have morning testing and afternoon tests. And when the students sign up and register for these exams, they'll know uh, we give word to them on when they're going to be testing and when they have to be there. But it is a nice opportunity for students if they wish to take those exams. They don't have to, but again, it's, it's a nice opportunity for students to potentially earn college credit while they're still in high school. So that, that's a pretty important thing that we do uh, in both high schools. So if your student has questions on those, they need to get to their counselor and we can inform them of that. And like I said, predominantly it's juniors and seniors that do these tests. And I think that's pretty much all for this session. Please join us in June for our next session when we'll give you more information.